Am I the a-hole for excluding my children's siblings? I am a 44 male who you can call Dave, and I have two kids. Oldest child is 16 female Sarah and youngest is 14 male Alex. I am no longer with their mother. No bad blood there. She's a good mom and we split custody 50-50. We parent well together too. My kids stay with their mom one week and stay with me one week, except for the summer where I have them more, because I have a beach house that the three of us migrate to. It's something my kids look forward to, and my daughter would like to move into when she's 18, but that's a separate conversation lol. The problem is my ex remarried and had more children with her current husband, and they are upset the new children aren't experiencing the same life. Their family as a whole isn't very well off, and I'm guessing that they struggle. They've never been on a vacation and can't afford to eat out, so I can see where the kids might feel excluded in life. I send my kids a weekly allowance via Venmo. It's not a lot in my opinion. I give Alex 30 and Sarah 50, extra for female products slash needs, and that alone has caused arguments. They'll go to McDonald's, and the three other kids throw a fit. This past Christmas, I had my two on Christmas Eve, and we did gifts then as well. I got my son a Switch with some games, clothes, sports gear, and an IOU for a PS5 when it's available, he thought it was funny and not mean by the way, for my daughter, I let her pick out her clothes, and got her a new camera and a MacBook. I understand this is a lot, but I don't have any other responsibilities. We had a good evening, and my kids were very happy. My son kicked my butt in Mario Kart and my daughter took some holiday photos. But on Christmas evening, their mom called and had frank conversation about making their siblings feel like less, as they got board games and action figures. This turned into me not furthering their relationship with trips and stuff to the beach house, and how they always beg to go and experience it, which I won't lie, one of them did ask me to do in the past. I just don't feel comfortable or wanting to do that, and Alex doesn't care, while Sarah flat out doesn't want it. I do feel bad, but I don't think I have a responsibility to their kids, and my kids shouldn't have to hide their joy or possessions. My son refuses to share his switch at their house, and I told his mother it is his to do as he wishes, and if she took it away without real cause or forced him to share, I would take issue with this, because he's a just young person who's not aiming to hurt anyone. I told my ex that I was planning a trip to Disney after COVID, and it really hit the fan. Her ex wants it all cancelled, as their oldest girl is a Disney fanatic. My ex wants it cancelled, because the other two once thought Santa loved them less, and everything was damaging their kids mentally. Am I the a-hole with not including their kids? Edit, I left this out by mistake, but my daughter got a car for her 16th birthday. That has caused more issues as well. My ex and her current husband felt she shouldn't have a new car. The fact that it was nicer than theirs, was not brought up to me personally, but my son said his mom complained about it to her husband, I did not hear this first hand. Now for the top judgment. Not the a-hole, but maybe the presents should be clearly from you not Santa next year, so the kids don't think Santa doesn't like them as much. They're 16 and 14. They definitely know Santa didn't bring presents. The mom's family ought to drop the Santa charade though. They're talking about the younger kids from the ex's remarriage, not OP's two children. The younger ones are who felt like Santa loved them less. Not the a-hole, they're not your kids so not your responsibility. Besides, your kids aren't exactly keen on having their half-siblings with them as well, so it's unfair that your ex-wife is demanding the same treatment for her and her new husband's kids. Your kids are old enough to decide for themselves and they are enjoying their time with you, their dad. Definitely not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. You do not have a financial responsibility to your ex's other kids, you are not their parent, and you do not need to act like one. Life doesn't always seem fair, but the reality is that, you are not the dad for the ex's kids and do not owe them anything. Your ex needs to manage her kids' expectations and have a discussion with them to help them understand that you are not their dad, and will not parent them or provide for them. Yes. Also, the ex needs to realize that while OP is supplying these items to his kids, it means that she and the new husband don't have to, which means they can divert more money to the other kids. They should be grateful OP buys these things outright, and doesn't make the ex try and chip in. I would see clothes and laptops as essentials for a high school student. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for saying it's not my job to spare my stepmother's feelings? My, 17 female, parents are divorced. I used to split my time between my parents, unless my dad was working out of town. When he was, I stayed with my mom. Now I live mostly with my mom. My dad hauled me, him, 
and my stepmother into therapy a few months ago during COVID on the Saturdays. I am there because he didn't like how my stepmother had her feelings hurt every time I was around, and every time she found out I did something with my mom without inviting her. My stepmother has admitted she is jealous of my relationship with my mom. She is jealous that we are close and I never rebelled against my mom. She is jealous that I love and find comfort in her presence and never felt that way for her, and she hates that I have some things I always refuse to do with her, because they were mine and my mom's thing. It's like three things, but she used to fixate on doing those things with me and still does a little. The big kind of incident came when I had an asthma attack when my dad was gone, and I didn't want her to stay with me instead of my mom. I was with my mom when it happened and my dad couldn't make it back, but she wanted a night or two at my bedside. I said no, because I wanted my mom. She was really hurt, cried into my face when my dad got back and I was at their house again, and told me there was no reason I couldn't give her that. So anyway, we were brought to therapy because I was told it wasn't good for my stepmother or my four younger half-brothers for us to be so not close, and for there to be this tension in the air. She said that I hurt her feelings a lot when I am so obviously close to my mom. I responded that it wasn't my job to spare her feelings, and especially not, if it means distancing myself from my mom. After that, she said it hurts her feelings when I reject her. I said it's because she has always tried to fit into a place she doesn't get to be, and it makes me want nothing to do with her. She then cried that she'll never have a daughter. My dad said I was an a-hole to her in the session. This was a couple of weeks ago, right before Christmas. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. In my humble opinion, I'd bring up in therapy how uncomfortable you are with stepmom trying to erase your mother from your life. I'd straight up, nicely, ask her, how would she feel if someone tried to replace her as mom to her children? I would if I thought she would listen. But she sees it as trying to be equal to my mom versus replacing her. Maybe that's been her intention, but it's not achieved by demanding that, and you definitely don't guilt trip someone into having that kind of relationship with you. Not the a-hole. You're right, it's not your responsibility to spare her feelings. She has not respected yours and has continually tried to push herself into a place that is occupied. Perhaps, if she had not come in so heavy-handed, the two of you could at least have had a friendly relationship. Oh yeah, I think at first we were cool, and then she got really pushy and demanding. She thought enough time had passed for me to see her as my second mother. Not the a-hole. Shouldn't the therapist you've gone to clarify that for you? This is what I want to know. It sounds like stepmom needs to change her expectations, but I also believe OP could be an unreliable narrator. We're only getting her side of the story, and as a resentful teen, she's not going to objectively consider stepmom's perspective. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for not wanting a mom relationship with my dad's wife? I, 21 female, feel strongly that I'm definitely not the a-hole, but it may just be me being the a and justifying. My dad married a woman about two years ago. They make each other happy, and I think she really makes him feel very validated and loved. It makes me happy, after all the horse crap this man has been through, that he gets love and support. She's a hard worker and a bright person. The issue we run into is her apparent burning need for me to refer to her as mom. I have a post in my history if you're interested in the deeper parts of it, but this is the biggest issue in our relationship. It started the very first time I met her at Thanksgiving at her house, something I was not prepared for at the time, when she tried to cut my food up for me because, she does it for all her kids. Being 18, Read, pissy, I did not take to that well. It's evolved to the passive aggressive, I know you don't see me as your mom, but. Two, I'll always be your mom, even if you don't want me to be. Ever since, I was frank with her that I felt she was pushing for a mother-daughter relationship, that I did not want, that I appreciate all she did for my dad, but that I would more than likely always just see her as my dad's wife, one of her as well as you'd expect. I would probably call her mom at this point, if she hadn't been shoving it down my throat for the past three years, but she doesn't understand. The title mom means a lot to me, as I don't have a relationship with my abusive and mentally ill egg donor, and the last woman I called mom, broke my family's hearts completely. I don't think it clicks in her head that it's something that needs to be built up to, not just given right away in my humble opinion. It's especially touchy for me now that I'm a month away from being a mom, and struggling with the idea of how to even be a good mom. I was pretty firm in my stance and my reasoning, until tonight when I was talking to a friend, 21 female, about the whole thing, and made a joke that my new year's resolution was to fix this whole situation, 
I don't genuinely think it's mine to fix, I just think she needs to come to terms with it on her own, and my friend called me and frigid which. Normally, we'd joke around like this, and I responded by laughing and saying, damn right, ice queen over here, a nickname bestowed thanks to resting witch face, which seemed to irritate her more. She said, this was a person just trying to love me and give me something I need, and I was just being bitter. She says it's even worse because I refer to my mother-in-law, who I have built a relationship with, ma, like my husband. This took me by surprise, as I've never gotten that response from anyone, but she's insisted that I'm the a-hole and has refused to answer my messages of questions regarding the change of heart she had. Am I really the a-hole for not being comfortable just handing over a title I personally feel is huge to my dad's wife? Added to add, I do have a genuine problem with being open and allowing people into my life, which is why I earned the stupid title Ice or Ice Queen while I was in the military. She just messaged me saying, you're just trying to punish her for coming into your bubble, without considering that she actually might care and want to be close to you. It's honestly so sad. I'm genuinely confused. Not the a-hole. Titles can mean a lot to people. If you don't see this woman as your mom, she's not your mom. End of story. She sounds like a nice person, but it seems really pushy to me that she's trying to force your relationship to be something it's not. I'd also be concerned about the relationship she will try and have with your kid, seems like she'll desperately want to be grandma even if you won't see her as that. She's a really good person, I think she's great. Just not my mom. Thank you. And she's already begun. I don't mind my kid calling her grandma, I think she'll get a ton of love and positive attention from her and my dad. I just will always be very clear she isn't my mom, but that it doesn't affect their relationship in any way. That's great. It seems like she just needs to get over the title thing, you can have a loving family relationship with someone who isn't your mom. Exactly. I definitely don't mind hanging around with her and just being comfortable in that space. I tried to have that when I returned home for two weeks, but it always turned sour for me when she would launch into the usual passive-aggressive statements. Not the a-hole. You earn the title mom or dad. It's weird as heck to expect a grown adult that you've never met to call you mom. Yeah, it was really uncomfortable to feel like I was being babied at 18. I mean, at the time, I was considering the Navy and was stuck being a bored as hell hostess in a quiet strip club and two jobs. It found even worse when I did go to the Navy. It made no sense to me. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for ending my Christmas with my ex-stepkids early? due to being offended by Photoshop? Disclaimer, this has not erupted into a fight or dispute, I'm just really offended and want to know if it's warranted. Background, I was with my ex-partner for 9 years, the last 7 living with her and helping raise her children as my own. We never married, and still lived as life partners. This relationship ended this year, and I moved out mid-summer. It has been hard, and there are other details that already leave me feeling worse than I need to be to start. I went over yesterday to give my gifts to the children. They are still very important to me, and I'm trying to maintain a relationship with them. I was in their lives more than half of their lifetime after all, and them nearly a quarter of mine. Things were going fine, we exchanged gifts, and it was going well. Even had some exchange with my ex, where we asked about various parts of our lives briefly. Then it happened. I walked by a photo and something caught my eye. I turned back to see a photo from a family vacation where I have been photoshopped out and replaced by a horrible parks and recreation character. A TV show we used to all watch together and enjoyed some great laughs. I'm immediately offended. In my eyes, my 9 years of love, service, and dedication to a family I truly cared about, was reduced down to nothingness by removing me from the memories of our lives together. If the photo is too hard to have up, then just replace it. Don't display a meaningless edited version of it. I didn't blow up, I simply said that it was time for me to leave. I did lean into my ex and say I was offended by the picture, and she responded, it was a joke. Later, I received an apology text that was essentially the, I'm sorry you feel that way, backhanded apology, that demonstrates no understanding of offensive action and resulting pain it caused. She said it was just a joke, and that the photo as it was, just couldn't be up forever. Again, I contend that you simply take it down and replace it, rather than make it offensive. So, am I the a-hole for being this upset and offended, and for leaving so abruptly? I've always thought I have a great sense of humor, and yet I do not find any humor in this at all. No a-holes here. You're allowed to feel your feelings, she's allowed to photoshop you out of pictures. She doesn't have to take down a picture she otherwise likes, 
to protect your feelings. That's not what's being asked. Is she allowed? Yes. Does it make her an a-hole? Also yes. Why does it make her an A? And how do we know it was her? What if one of the kids did it to cheer up their mom after he broke up with her, especially because Parks was an inside joke? He doesn't get to dictate what they do in their own home or how they choose to display their memories. I don't get to dictate how they run their home and how they display memories. I agree 100% with that. I also think it is a tactless and insensitive thing to do regardless. What message does it send me when I do come over because we're trying to keep it friendly and kid focused? What message does it send family and friends whom also have known me and us together for 9 years when they see it? She has a right to do it, that does not make it a good or nice thing to do. Every action has a cost. Not the a-hole. It was insensitive as heck, and they didn't need to have that up while you were there. Also, a lot of people are confused between the concepts has the right, with, is an a-hole. She has the right to change the picture. Doing so made her an a-hole, but she has the right. Being offended doesn't make you an a-hole. I like what you said about people misunderstanding the right to do something, versus being an a-hole. I agree. I'm all for a good joke. A joking photoshop is adding Bigfoot to a picture, or adding a celebrity that you clearly never met. That's funny. Thank you. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content.